Hi, I'm Holly Bennett Awid, and I ride the fabulous little mare of Gin and Juice. And I'm Steph Rhodes Bosch, and I ride the Gelding Port Authority. And all that. Yeah, I got the ride on Gin and Juice uh, when she was coming five. It was a random fluke thing. The girl that was riding her literally walked up to me, gave me the reins like five minutes before her a dressage chest and said she didn't want to ride her anymore. So I hopped on and I was going novice and she got a 28 and won the event and from there on I've had the ride on her. She was bred at Kingsway Farm where I ride and um, it's been an interesting journey. <laughs> um, she has taught me patience. She's the feistiest little horse I've ever had to ride and um, hard work and perseverance pays off because there's been many times when I was like, why am I doing this? But when she's good, she's great and you know, she's a blast to ride now. <laughs> um, I've had Ollie for seven years. We got him as a five-year-old in Vancouver, in uh, Maple Ridge actually. So he was brought along by myself and a series of coaches <laughs> <laughs> until we moved out east four years ago to work with Rebecca Howard and David O'Connor. So I've had him since before he ever even jumped a cross-country jump. So it's been really special to do all that on one horse that you're doing it all for the first time together. It's a huge, huge accomplishment and a recognition, you know, like finally eventing is getting recognized, you know, like it's always been the tenters, the jumpers, the dressage people and, you know, like I think at Worlds our team made a big, big mark for ourselves, and it's, you know, kind of like the Who Dad Award that Jimmy Wofford always <laughs> calls at Rolex and I think, you know, as a team we got that award <laughs> at Worlds and to be recognized by the Federation is amazing and hopefully this is going to bring like a bigger and brighter future to our sport. I mean, I think it's, I well, I flew all the way over from California, so it's, it's, it's a big deal and I'm so proud of, you know, everyone involved, the horses, the riders, the support crew, like it's, it's not just us as riders, it's a, you know, it's a whole, our whole, whole team should be up here. <laughs> Yeah, I think it just is a testament to what the sport of eventing has done in the last few years. I mean, at all of the past Equine Canada Awards galas, eventing was just kind of there because they were there. But I think um, our program has worked so hard and for us to, as a team and our two individuals, to be the collective equestrians of the year just says a lot for how hard we've worked as a discipline to get to where we are. And it's just fun to be part of it. Um, first we passed Jog, that was really exciting. Go Yay! <laughs> go team, um, go. Yay, that, 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 that's step one. <laughs> um, and if I do say so myself, I thought we looked very nice. Mm -hmm. um, and then came dressage. Um, for me, with Gin and Juice, it's, I mean, she has all the ability in the world to win it, and all the ability in the world to blow up. Um, I actually thought it was the best trot work she's ever done. and. Usually, like her changes, she gets eights, nines on because they're very clean and that. But she was a little excited, and um, we had a few extra bucks in there. But she held it together, and so I mean, I was happy with this. With the score, obviously, I would have liked to have been mid 40s, which is she's very capable of doing. Um, so, you know, for her to start on that score, I was happy with. And in cross country, I mean, I couldn't have asked for a better round. She put a foot perfect round in, and it was, you know, a little bit of pressure put on me by. Coach Canada, we had a little chat before. Yeah, put pressure <laughs> yeah. on. No. So, um, you know, I thought my horse went well. I thought I rode well, and you know, it. I came through with a huge smile on my face. And then um, show jumping. I mean, I know she can put in a clean round, but it's just slowing her brain down. And I thought that she might be a little bit tired, but like honestly, I've never sat on that horse for one step of her being tired. And she came into that ring fired up <laughs> and I did everything I could to keep her mellow and she was amazing and she knew it I mean she when the crowd started cheering after we went to the she like bolted around the ring and I was kind of like ah it's her Whatever. time yeah. <laughs> so it was it was really really exciting really exciting the way for me was obviously being my first team competition of anything was so exciting. Um, the training camp especially was one of the coolest things I've ever been a part of, the whole group and everything. So 
shipping up to Kentucky together and being around all the other teams and the atmosphere of the international team competition was um, a lot to take in. And then, like Holly said, we passed the jog. <laughs> Not that I don't think there's ever any real doubts with our horses, but it is the first phase of the competition. <laughs> yes, <laughs> there was not at that time. Um, but yeah, it's the first phase of the competition. And um, then for the dressage, I was so, so happy with Ollie and I's test. Um, we shaved, I think, almost nine points off of our Rolex score, which I was thrilled with in April. So. Um, I mean, David and I worked so hard over that test all summer long, and I think we really put forward everything that we hope to put forward on the day, which is all you can ask for. I mean, it's your personal best, and so that was thrilling. <laughs> um, cross country, he's always fantastic. Um, he's a big boy, so we work hard on his fitness, but he handled that terrain and the big technical course very well. And, he gives me the impression all the time that he's done everything before, that he's so <laughs> confident about it. And I know for a fact that he hasn't because, you know, we've done it all together. But he <laughs> feels so confident every single step out there. It's like, I don't know if he's just comfortable in his job or if it's that little cocky edge that he has. But he's so, so fun to ride him. Um, show jumping day, you know, the third day after a really hard season. And, um, a little tired, but not too bad, and I, of course, was disappointed in our rail. We don't, as a rule, sort of have rails, um, but that, I guess, is what happens when humans make mistakes, <laughs> <laughs> which we do, unfortunately, so I have to say I watched that moment over and over again on videotape, and if I could have just kept my hands where they were, I would go back and do that, but I didn't. Um, so, I mean, the one rail moved us from what would have been fourth to ninth, but I was just so relieved that my mistake didn't hurt the team's result, and we still ended up with our wonderful silver medal. I would have been crushed if my mistake, my stupid mistake, um, had <laughs> led to a less result for the team, so I'm just grateful that we were in a position that I had that at hand. Um, and then after that, oh my gosh, the whirlwind of that day, it was just incredible, the rush of the medal ceremony and the press conference and the champagne tent. The bubble tent. <laughs> the bubbly. Uh, uh. Um, my, my parents were both there and I think a lot of our families were there. So, uh, And, you know, the after party at the hotel, it was just, um, <laughs> just really, really fun. And it was like the whole group's effort, just everybody's relief and joy and excitement in that one. <laughs> saddle pads, 100% those saddle pads. No, that's not, I don't think it's a fluke at all. Um, I'm a huge believer in hard work, setting goals, and dreaming. I mean, we had that dream of, I told David at training camp that I was getting on the podium. I didn't know if I was going to do it as an individual or as a team. It's day one at training camp. And that, from first step on to Mrs. Morrow's property, that was our goal. And, you know, everyone didn't even talk about the Canadians. Everyone's like the Americans, the Brits, this and that. And we quietly all did our jobs and it paid off. Like, I don't believe it was a fluke at all. I wholeheartedly agree with Holly. I think that our result is, even though the rest of the world has been surprised and shocked at our on paper results there, if you go back and look at. Kentucky. Yeah, I mean, look at Kentucky and look at the efforts Eventing Canada has made towards our education and, you know, our development and, um, and how hard all of us as individuals have worked and, you know, we've been, we've been a real unit for a long time now and we've all been working towards the goal and I think, you know, maybe we surprised our, in reality, probably surprised ourselves a little bit with the medal, but we were all going for it. And I think it's something that Canada can do over and over again, whether it's this exact combination of horses and riders or not. But it's exciting, though, because it, like if you look at the age of the riders, you look at the age of the horses, there's a bunch of big, pretty exciting things going to be happening, I think, mm -hmm. in the future. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, for a long time there was, oh, if you got qualified as a Canadian, you're going to go. I was one of those people, you know, like, but now you you have to be good. You have to be able to do all three phases. You have to have a sound horse. And, 
you know, like looking at my horses coming up, like I even have a couple really good young horses and that's just myself. And you look at, you know, all the other Canadians now, like it's, I think the next like five to 10 years is, is gonna be really exciting for Canada as a, as a team. Mm -hmm. I think so too.